Hello everyone, welcome to tonight's concert and thank you for coming all this way. Today I will have the pleasure to introduce you to our special guest, Kali Uchis. Today I will be going over her set list and we will learn more, a little more about this rising star. First she will be singing In My Dreams and we will learn more about her life before fame. Then she will be singing Dinante and we will learn about her achievements and why they're so significant. She will finally end off on with Sycamore Tree and we will learn about her branding and its effectiveness. Carla Marina Loenza was born July 17, 1992 in Alexandria, Virginia. She is Colombian American and the youngest out of five siblings, but she is the only child her mother and father had together. When she was five, her family immigrated back to Colombia, but sometime before that, before high school, she immigrated back to the States. She attended Casey Williams High School, where she learned, where she, where she pursued her love for visual arts and music. While in attendance of the high school, she joined the jazz band, where she learned to play the saxophone and the piano. She describes her family as humble and hardworking, but they couldn't understand her reasoning behind pursuing artistic <coughs> career. After a rebellious streak of cutting class and breaking curfew, her family kicked her out at just 17. This is when the star really started to kick off her career. She released her debut mixtape, Drunken Babble, in 2012. During the time, the artist was homeless, living in her car with a job at Whole Foods. Her mixtape included a variety of different genre usages, which is a theme she carried out through all of her albums. She then released Por Vida in 2015, her debut album Isolation in 2018, To Feel a Live EP in 2020, and her most acclaimed album yet, Sin Medio del Amor y Otro de Menos in 2020. She has been featured on many singles, such as See You Again by Tyler the Creator, ranging to El Rato by Juanes in 2017. She has been nominated for 25 awards and won six of them. There was a lot of pushback for her most acclaimed album because she was signed in London and they did not want her to produce an album that was mainly Spanish. After some pushback, she was able to get it released and it became an international sensation. This is a big, this is very impactful for the Latino community because she didn't give up on who she was and what she wanted to produce. She recently stated, discussing the album, this is a dream come true because I've been making music for a while. And a lot of people told me that an album in Spanish would be moving backwards in my career, but I ignored them and it was beautiful that my Spanish album is actually resonating with people. Moving on to our final song, Sycamore Tree. Kelly has a unique branding to herself because she makes her own clothes and does not like to be matching with anyone. She stated, I started to make my own clothes. First, I would cut the shirts and sew other pieces of shirts onto it, and it looked really crazy. But it all worked out because many love her clothing and like to mimic it. She takes inspiration from Selena, Bridget Bardot, and Eddie Sedwick as well. Another interesting and key reason why her branding works is when she releases albums, she normally dresses to match the theme. For example, in Por when Por Vida was released, she had a very retro and dreamy look to herself. She also has produced a jean brand, Obsession. Although, although the jeans sold for a steeping $111, they quickly sold out. Thank you all for coming, and today we will be reviewing the set list before the artist comes on to the stage. First, she will be singing In My Dreams, and we got to learn a little more about her life and before fame. Then she will be singing Denate, and we learned about her albums and achievements. 
Finally, she will wrap up with Sycamore Tree and we learn more about her branding and its effectiveness. Thank you all for coming out and enjoy the show.